Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Feels like a good one. But yeah, I'm gonna be switching between one ounce and three fourths ounce uh, bucktails with four inch gulp swimming mullets. And the technique is just slowly, very slowly reel, but like this speed while constantly jigging on the bottom. And that is the best technique I've found for catching flounder. But I'll also do normal, just uh, vertical jigging for hopefully some more grouper and other fishes. So we'll see. Catch a lot of stuff on this. But we're going for game. Hey guys, I just wanted to interrupt to let you know that there's not a normal intro or outro in this video because I'm in a super populated spot and I still feel weird about talking to a camera while I'm around a bunch of people. So that's why you're going to see me be pretty subdued and quiet throughout the video. But um, also, if you've ever been to Merle's Inlet, you know exactly where I'm fishing at. And if you want to be one of those dudes that just see someone else fishing a spot and you hammer it to death, by all means, go ahead, because this spot is extremely hit or miss. You know, sometimes I'll pull a few flounder out of here, and sometimes I'll fish for five hours and get skunked. So you'd have better success if you just went around the whole inlet. And, yep, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully you enjoy it. I'll have more videos out soon. So, yeah, catch you later. Well, not what we were looking for. Oh, fish on. What? An oyster toad. What we don't want to see. Not what we're looking for. I can't believe I wasn't filming. I just caught my PV gag grouper. Oh, look at that. This might even be close to keeper size. I don't even know what keeper size is. I'm going to look it up real quick. There's a Kenny Chesney song or something playing on the boat next to me, so I'm having to do a little voiceover for this part. But basically what I'm saying here is that keeper size for gags are 24 inches, and this girl is big for inshore, but she's only about 14 inches. And I'm also able to tell it's a she because gag group are protogenous. And if you're like a fish biologist who's saying, wow, he totally just mispronounced that, then kick rocks, dude. I'm trying my best, all right? But um, protogenous basically means that juvenile gags are all female and they can transition into a male once they reach uh, sexual maturity. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah, nice doormat. Nice doormat. Nice flounder. Nice flounder. <laughs> These hook good too. Get him down and get him. No. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's keeper. Flounder. He's got a hopefully. 
Woo. That is a nice one. Thank you, appreciate it. I need a smaller bait fish, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. What's he about? Definitely keeper size. Keeper size here is 16 inches. My shoe is 12 inches, so it's about a 19 inch fish. If not 20, probably about 20. Ooh, finally. I was losing a lot of confidence. He was hooked so good though. We have three different species of bigger flounder here in South Carolina. We have southern flounder, summer flounder, and gulf flounder. And you can tell this is a summer flounder because it doesn't have any oscillated spots. It has spots, but they're not oscillated. Nice. Finally got one. Yeah, took about an hour and a half, but... Oh yeah, definitely. Probably about 18 or 19. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, go. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Paperwork. Yeah. Starts for the year. Yeah. So we go ahead and get them in there, kill them because the permit goes out in like November or something like that. So I like to get all everything in there and then they'll get again. Yep. Oh, it came off. That was not a flounder. What was it? I don't know. Maybe a red. I, I haven't. Oh, fish on. Oh. <laughs> Got one. A gag. Something. Yeah. Last cast, it's raining. Oh shit! Big bite! Big bite! Big bite! We got a fish on! <laughs> 